Hello. Tonight I want to cover a little ground here on the subject of narcissism and our narcissist evil. Um, I know that on some different uh, YouTube channels online, um, there's a lot of talk about uh, that, nar that they're saying that narcissists are evil. But uh, I think that goes a little far and that's really going to scare a lot of people. Because um, I... <clears throat> I, I do believe and have read that narcissists are at a lower uh, frequency vibrational level due to um, usually how uh, more extreme anger that they carry and hate, um, you know, and lower, lower, um, higher states of sadness and uh, things like that. Uh, where they're probably more apt to attract a uh, lower energy, uh, levels of things around them, you know, and that also might include, uh, attracting lower energy, um, <clears throat> vibrational, um, things such as, you know, the, um, maybe, uh, some demo demonic possession or, uh, things like that. Um, I do know a little bit about this, so I'm going to go on for a bit about this. Um, as to where I don't think that a person can be, uh, was born evil or are evil, although possession is a real thing. Um, I've seen it uh, myself in my lifetime. Um, I actually am a person that can actually uh, see, um, uh, see this a little bit more than other people are able to. Some people are more prone to seeing it than others. Um, it just really depends on the person, I guess. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, I have lived in a few uh, houses in my lifetime where I have seen um, strange things go on and uh, ghosts, and I have uh, seen some uh, demons in my life as well, <clears throat> uh, but have only encountered them in other people, um, when, um, during the drug phase in my life. <laughs> now, a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you know, you were high, and, and that's why you saw these things, but, um, even when I was not, um, and when other people were around me, um, I was still, uh, um, uh, I could still see these things just straight through them, like, there, boom, there they were, and, um, <laughs> kind of creepy, but, um, <clears throat> um, I want to talk a little bit about, yes, in, uh, my drug days, um, I encountered, uh, two men, um, one encounter was, uh, and they were both, uh, using powder substances, you know, uh, stronger, uh, stronger drugs that will take, uh, more out of a person, you know, and put them at, usually at an extreme lower, uh, energy state of being where they're very weak and apt and prone to draw, uh, negative energies to them. So, um... <clears throat> You know, uh, and the first one I, I saw, um, an, a demon actually come into his body and, uh, just for a few minutes, but it was a very solid form and it was, um, a picture from out, uh, of like the Bibles to where he had horns and, uh, like a, a thrashing, uh, kind of a rattlesnake tail and, you know, hooves. And, uh, that was extremely scary. <laughs> Nothing that I ever want to see again in this lifetime, thank you very much. But it was just so real, and then, um, in a flash, it was gone. But, um, and the, in, in the other case, um, uh, there was, a, a man that was using extreme, a lot of, uh, cocaine. And, um, around his head, um, this was before his own suicide, um, uh, after he OD'd on a lot of cocaine, um, I saw a demonic form flying around his head. 
And um, so that wasn't long before uh, his own, when he, before he took his own life. And um, they, I believe that uh, they can draw a more negative, negative things like that because I, uh, the person that, that did cocaine uh, was also in a band and he sang a lot of thrash metal songs and um, I'm not quite sure but um, maybe you know they just uh, were attracting quite quite a bit more uh, with the uh, hate and things through their songs um, so uh, the point I'm getting at though is that um, a, a person um, who is um, you know, around around these types of individuals that have drawn these negative energies can also protect themselves. And I'm going to give you uh, what uh, protective measures that I uh, use myself that really worked. And that is nothing more simple and common than saying the Lord's Prayer. Honest to God, um, it has saved me in all the every situation that I've ever encountered, um, either when uh, I was living in a haunted place or dealing with someone with um, an entity. Um, I would, when I would see this manifestation, I would quickly start saying uh, a prayer. Um, the Lord's Prayer works very well if you know it. If, if you, um, you know, probably uh, whatever your real source of believing is of goodness and uh, white light you know and everything will help protect you from all the all that negativity because the more you believe in a stronger protective power a good power the more it's going to repel that lower bad negative energy so, um, again, I want to say here that um, the stronger your belief, the more you're going to repel anything like this around you. And um, I just want to say, um, you know, right now that um, we are uh, stronger than they are. And it's, you know, for a really good reason, white light rules. And... Um, so if I've helped anybody here with any kind of confusion, uh, you know, don't be afraid and alarm try not to be so afraid and alarmed if you've ever witnessed something like this before, because remember this, you, we can always protect ourselves and there is a light for a very good reason. Thank you. Have a nice night. Peace.